30 years ago, Sam's expertise was in fundamental particles found on Earth. I have a group who collaborate with me. None of us has done a thing about space. We start with a totally clear head, <laughs> namely zero. We, we didn't know anything. The novice group's bold idea was to build a detector equipped with a highly specialized magnet designed to discover antimatter in space. I was quite worried how we're going to do this. Nobody has ever put a magnet in space. Known as Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, or AMS, it was built over 15 years by hundreds of scientists from 16 different countries. It took us an enormous amount of effort. Endeavor will deliver the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, a particle physics detector designed to search for various types of unusual matter by measuring cosmic rays. In May 2011, the $2 billion, 7.5-ton antimatter detector was ready to launch. Now I bring back all the memories. The detector was loaded aboard the Endeavour Space Shuttle. Its destination, the International Space Station. I was quite nervous. So many people uh, spent so much time and they would have done something nobody thought was possible. OK, Mark, looks like a great day to uh, launch Endeavour. Good luck, Godspeed, and we'll see you back here June 1st. Three, two, zero, and liftoff for the final launch of Endeavour, expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. Two hundred and fifty miles above Earth, in a feat of precision engineering, the detector was attached to the space station. Within a short time, you can see signals coming down, and we know everything's working. I was a relief. Since that moment, the detector has been hunting for antimatter in space. This is a space station. It goes every 93 minutes around the Earth once. As the antimatter detector orbits the Earth, billions of cosmic rays pass through it. The red line is the cosmic rays. Since May 19, 2011, so it's 191 billion. So day and night you have to collect it. There's no such a thing as Christmas, no such a thing as uh, Halloween. <laughs> the cosmic ray's path through the magnetic detector determines their charge, and therefore whether or not they are antimatter. Searching for traces of antimatter in the enormity of the cosmos is unimaginably difficult. But a little over seven years into the experiment, an intriguing signal was picked up. An antiatom. We found one very clean anti-helium. The mass is exactly like helium except the chart is just the opposite. Discovering anti-helium amongst billions of other particles could have been an error. And then, after a few months, second one occur. There's no other signals nearby. It looks perfect. Finding an anti-atom in space is baffling. It cannot be produced from ordinary cosmic ray collisions. It has to be from something unexpected. 
more evidence is needed. But finding anti-helium in space suggests a startling possibility. There could be other complex antimatter structures in our universe. There could even be antimatter stars waiting to be discovered. And if they are out there, there should also be other types of anti-atoms. Anti-carbon, anti-oxygen, and then we, have more, we will have more confidence. Indeed, there's something totally different out there.